Today you are the sleep for my shop. I come up to my shop, Abel. I think give me pure time. I might wash my face. Yes, I will. Welcome. So you are here sleeping. Eh? You are relaxing. Because there's, there's no work. I don't, I don't blame you. Me, when we are go outside, they fight for work. Look at my, 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 my spanner. They fight for work. You, you they here, we be boy, they, 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 they sleep. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. In fact, let me tell you, ever since you come here, you've been bringing bad luck to me. Ah, uh, no, God, please don't, don't sound I've like that. I've been gradually losing all my customers. Oh, no, God, don't sound like that. It's not me that. Is... Look at my shops. Nobody's coming in again. Because of your bad luck. Oga, I'm not God now. Nah. I'm not God. Oga, try and understand. This is the only job I used to survive. Oga, I beg. If you send me out now, nah, my life will be miserable. Oga, I beg in the name of God. I, please. I, see, I don't need you anymore in this workshop, please. Ah, no, no, Oga, Oga, no, 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 no. I don't need you anymore. No, Oga, please. Customers. And I don't want to see you here again. Oga, customers will come. Oga, see. Oga, Oga, wait. Oga, Oga, please. Oga, please. Oga, see. I beg in the name oh, of God. This job I did is survive. Oga, I beg. I beg. I, I, customers will come. I beg. You, you, customers, Oga, I beg. Let me tell you, if I come back here. Make sure that I do not see you here again. And make sure that you remove my clothes before you come out. Oh God, beg now. Maybe cast no grease point now. Oh God, beg. Oh God. Hmm. What kind of life is this? Is my existence in this world a mistake? Why must everything I lay my hands on seem to be abortive? At the beginning of every of my success story comes hardship. Oh God, I am losing hope. Poverty has become an integral part of me. But I must not give up. I have to continue the struggle. I should just hurry up because of traffic and all that. Okay. And she had already gotten everything I needed, so I had to rush out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How is she? She's fine. How are you? Any of you just leave me, leave me. I will see. Wait, wait, what do you want to see? It's women's face. Come and see what Mama got for you. I will come. Go back. You don't want to see? Bye bye. Okay, now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, that's not what I want to order. Yeah, you know what to say. Here, Hey, he's so cute. And a cute guy like this should not be hooking bread on the road. She comes to What's your business if he holds bread or fish? You? Better mind your business. I want to buy bread. Eh? Yes, I want to buy bread. Hey, bread seller. Yeah. I want to buy bread. Ah, shatty. How do you sell? Sun is on dinner. Sun is on. Okay, I want to. I'm to show you're interested. Okay, don't soft. worry, give me just one. This one is soft. Bread, bread. 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 Thank you, Bread. 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 Bread.
out, please. Just give her some time, eh? She'll soon be out, okay? And you, are you not going to school? I have a new lecture, so don't worry. Take out, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, sorry, babe. Sorry, I can't tell you the next one. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, please watch while crossing the road. Whatever. I you, I'm talking to you, Council. I will. Baby, stop now. You're always getting upset. Let's go. Straight rail, straight rail, straight rail. Jesus. I just slipped my leg through this thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but please, one minute. Okay. Take Amso! What's that? Let's go! Take Amso! See, I. Take Amso! I need you to call me as soon as you get the chance. Okay. I'm expecting your call. I'm expecting your call. Okay. Check out. Right. So, let's go. Stop this. Let's go. Was not this place we're going to? I want to call this girl now. This is where all these phone booths know they work again. Phone and no get. Hey, where are these guys? Ross. I beg, I feel use your phone, make one urgent call. Very important, I beg. Hey, Baba. I'm not coming again, Abby. Because they see I'm going to hand. No, Ross, don't be like that, I beg. I just see you as a person who will be nice, person who understand the brother, man. Hello? Yes, it's me, it's me, the, the, the bread seller. You gave me your number. Um, yes, where, where can I meet you? Okay, okay, no, yes, I know the place. This, this junction, the, the second street by my left. Okay, I'll, I'll be on my way. Yes. Um, you, you, you try, thank you. Go, bless you. Bless you too. This kind of girl, I never see a before. I want to say thank you for everything. Thank you for the care, thank you for the food, thank you for everything. You know, no one has ever shown me so much love and care before. I really appreciate. God will bless you. It's fine. It is okay. You don't need to thank me that much. Listen, I have never seen a young, cute-looking guy like you hawking on the street. I mean, listen. I want to know you. I want to know who you are. I. Can you tell me a little more about you? Well, my name is Ifai. Like I told you before. I'm from Anambra State, Uga to be precise. I lost my mom while I was still very young. Oh, that's a pity. I, I'm sorry about your mom. Oh. And my mother is from Uga too. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Well, my dad raised me. My father happens to be a native doctor. What? Yeah. 
Yes. You see, he has always wanted me to learn about his ways and activities. But that's not my style. That's not what I want for myself. So that caused a lot of misunderstanding between us. So I had to leave. My dad was so angry with me and I had to come to the city to hustle. But trust me, since then, anything I put my hand will not work. I have been hustling and hustling and hustling. I don't know, poverty and hardship is, has been the only thing that I've ever encountered. You know, you get to a point I almost committed suicide. Don't you ever think of committing suicide? It is not an option. If I... Can you hear me? Listen, I want to be your friend. Whenever you need anything, please don't hesitate to call me. I may not have the whole world to give to you, but I will help you in any little way I can. Do you hear me? Okay. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Chikamso, is she around? Chikamso. Is she not supposed to be with you in school? <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> You're funny, really. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm funny. I'm glad I can be. And then I am saying too. <laughs> uh, I didn't see her in school today. I wanted to collect my notebook from her, but I didn't see her, that's why I came to the house. Where could she have gone to? Uh, maybe she went to the library or something. Uh, please, I am sorry for not um, entertaining you very well. It's just that I don't have all the champagne, wine, I don't have... Uh, uh, oh, stop, okay? I don't want all the big food and big drinks like champagne and all of that, okay? Remember, we just finished eating. Yes, but you know, it's normal that I give you all these things. I mean, listen, I'm okay with you. Just tell her if she comes back to endeavor to bring my notebook if she's coming to school tomorrow. I will not be able to come here because I have early morning lectures to catch up. Okay. Oh. Tell me. <sighs> Never mind. No, feel, feel free. You can, you can tell me anything. I can take anything. <laughs> I'll just say it. Are you shy? No, I, no I, <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm fine. I'm You're shy. You are so shy. No, I'm not shy. You are shy. <laughs> I'm not shy. <laughs> okay, let's give you a test. If I'm you shy. aren't shy. My eyes are closed. I'm not looking at you. So do it. Uh, if it's for this one, I think I'm shy. You aren't serious? I'm very shy. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I went to match this place to get a note. Liar. <coughs> liar. You are a pretty liar. Machi left this place few hours ago. She said you didn't even appear in school today and you're here lying to yourself. Just, just hear yourself. Right. Now you know. I went to see a friend. <sighs> and who is this friend you went to see? Excuse you. Like, 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 seriously? Yes. Like, like, seriously? Did yeah. you just ask yeah. that? Yes. 
are you supposed to know all of my friends? Yeah. And as a monitoring spirit that you just became, you're supposed to know where and whatever it is I do in my life. Listen, I had a long day. And a man deserves his rest. Excuse you. She comes to brother. She comes to brother. She comes to I came to the house to look for you, but your brother said you're not yet back. So tell me where you are. Well, I'll tell you because you're my friend. I went to see that guy. Which guy? The bread seller. What? You did what? How could you try such a thing? Eh? For crying out loud, that guy is a nobody. Eh? Listen to me. You won't understand. Listen, that guy is a very nice guy. He has this very high sense of reasoning. I, I like him. Yes, I do. He is nice because he's poor. Huh? I know his type. Immediately he gets money, he will change automatically. He can even use it for money to try. Because he's too desperate and frustrated. She comes to you must stop seeing him. Mm -mm. No, I don't think I can stop seeing him. Eh? Yes. so you must stop seeing that guy. Or else I'll be tempted to tell your brother. Mm -mm. No, you wouldn't dare. <sighs> whatever, just change the topic. Mm -hmm. I was saying, so that class... Uh, hey, whatever. please. please. I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And the things you're still doing, I want to say big thank you. I mean, you come here, you stay with me, spend time with me. You've been amazing. God will bless you. Amen. Listen, I feel I'm not doing enough for you, really. No. Ha. I should say thank you, actually. You make me so happy. I mean, being around you here makes me so happy. Thank you for that. I want to know you more. I mean, where you stay. You made mention of your brother the other time. I want to meet with him. We could be family friends. You think that's necessary? Yes, it is. You see, I don't want your brother to see me as a bad person. I don't want him to have the wrong impression about me. Knowing fully well how you come here, stay with me and spend time with me. Try and understand. I just need you to look at it from my own point of view. It's okay. Yes. I'll make our time for that. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen Chikam to my sister? No, I've not seen her. Maybe she has gone to the library. Oh, no. I've gone to the library to check out for her. I think she's not there. Machi, there is something I want to ask you about my sister Chikam so. What's that? Okay. Chikam so's behavior changed overnight. Nobody knows her whereabouts. She comes back very late at night and all that. So, I don't know, you guys are very close and I just want to ask you if you know, if you know anything about her recent behavior. I don't know. Mary. I know that the both of you are very close. In fact, she's your best friend and it will be very hard for you to tell me anything that concerns her. But please, for the sake of I and my family, please. Just tell me, if you know anything about her recent behavior, it will be it will be very nice that you disclose it, please. 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 
Okay. Chikamso, she's seen a guy. A poor brat that is deceiving her all in the name of love. I have warned her to stay away from that guy. But she refused. Um, um, the guy you're talking about, who is he? What does he look like? What was his name? I don't know his name. He hawks bread around our area. Excuse me? Bread. Hi, my lovely brother. How you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Come see. Meet my friend, if I. If I. My brother can't see. Nice to meet you. Come to my home. This is where we live. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. And what do I offer you? Oh no, nothing. I'm I'm fine. No way. I mean, this is the first time you're coming to my house and you're rejecting my offer. No, I won't take that. Okay. I know exactly what you like. So, just sit here. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. Be fine. I'm fine. Look at me. Are I'm, you good? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? How could you bring yourself solo to be friends with a common bread seller? A street tart for that matter? Huh? How can you be dragging the name of the, 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 this, this family to the mud? He is a bread seller, not a street tart. He is just a young man hustling to make ends meet. Moreover, he is from my mother's village, Uga. Oh, spare me that nonsense. Spare me that rubbish. Look. Mati has already told me everything about your, about your escapades with him. You better stop it. You better stop it. I'm sorry. I can't stop seeing him. And let me tell you something. You have your friends, males, females. I have never for once told you who to mingle with and who not to mingle with. And I do not think that it is in your place to tell me who to hang out with or who not to hang out with. So I know what is good for you if I see one. You better, you better just stop this rubbish you're doing. Okay? Like you said, my blood brother, not my God. If you would excuse me, I have a visit to attend. Come, 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 come. come, come. Why did you do this to me? You are my friend. You are supposed to protect me. Why did you go and tell my brother about Ifine? Now he sees him as a nobody. I had to tell him because he refused to listen to me. I have told you to stay away from that guy, but you refuse. Eh? The dead that kills the dog will never allow you to perceive the aroma of the fresh feces. Yes. Listen to me. I have told you how much I love Ifine, and there is nothing you or any other person can say to me that will convince me otherwise. You hear me? That guy is a gold digger. He wants to reap where he did not sow. Moreover, you deserve a better man. I, I, I believe your future is bright. Eh? Don't allow that good for nothing if I to destroy your future. Okay. Fine. Now I see how much of a good friend you are to me. And just so you know, it is my future. My life, not yours. And my future is with you fine. Get that. Good day. Chikamso, you're making a big mistake. Chikamso, wait. Chikamso, you're making a big mistake. Chikamso. Chikamso. Yes. 
serious to be that tired. I'm tired of this kind of life. What I need right now is a job. How long will I continue to feed from hand to mouth? It, it, it doesn't make sense and it's not good for a guy like me. I understand and I truly do. But you have to take it easy. You know how hard it is finding a job here in this country of ours? I know, but I still need a job. How long will I continue to sell bread? Okay, tomorrow if I come to your house and ask for your hand in marriage, what will I tell them that I do? What will I say? When they ask you, Mr. Ma, what do you do for a living? I say, I'm, I'm a bread seller. Hi! No, no. If I, I still insist that you take it easy. You're being hard on yourself and I don't like it. There is time. You're still young. And remember, God's time is the best. Okay, uh, there's this friend of mine. Maybe I should talk to him about getting you a job. I'm certain he might help. Are you serious? Yes. Hi. What can I ever do without you? Thank you so much. Please, try for me. Of course, I will. Take my word for <laughs> it. See, now I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I have to run. Okay. Can you please accompany me? To your house? Yes. No, 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 no. Ah, no. There is no way I can go to your house. The last time I came to your house, your brother wasn't friendly. Eh? I think your brother doesn't want me around. So let me just... No, no. He's my brother. And I know just how to handle him. Okay? So please, can we just go? <laughs> Mary, please, don't say no to me. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. What do you think? Where do you think you're going to? Uh, uh, come see. He's my friend. You've met him before. Yes, we've met before. Good day. My friend, don't come, 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 come. Look, let me tell you. Let this be the last time you ever set this your filthy legs into this compound again. I will not warn you again. I've warned you before and I will not warn you again. Oga, don't come here again, oh. See, sir. Shut what? up! See. Now get out. Can't see what has come over you. Now get out! Mm. Can't see how could you do this? What? If I please wait. How could you do this to me? How? If this will be the only way, I'll bring you back from this miserable life you want to get yourself into. I will do it. Just let him come into this compound again. Nonsense. If I... If I... Come to my rescue, Papa. Come and save me from this trouble, from this rejection and suffering. If I knew my son. All is not fine. You seem to be absent-minded. Did you hear? What news? I went to the village last week. Only to be told that your father, Dibia Akbotapu, is dead. Father is dead. Hey! How? When? What happened? Huh? I'm finding myself too many questions at a time. I didn't see the cops. 
but your immediate uncle, Emenike, told me that your father died of a protruding stomach, which made the way to order his corpse to be thrown to the evil forest and to be eaten by the evil vultures. Hi! Why me? Why me? Why? 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 Everything me? Why always me? Why? Why now? Why? Eh? Hey! What kind of life is this one? Hey! I came back from the village just two days ago. Uh, I would have come since, if not that I was very busy. But I have come now just to convey the message to you. Since you are the only surviving son of your father. So oh, oh, what, what will I do now? Eh? What will I do now? I am so confused. What will I do? Eh? You have to go home and inherit your father's properties which includes his shrine and continue his work as a witch doctor and that is if you are interested. Uh, um, as a son, I have to advise you that if you inherit any of your father's property, that what befell, what happened to your father may befell or happen to you. So you are warned. Please be careful. Huh? I'm very busy. Let me go back to my shop and attend to my customers. I'll come back later to see you. Let me go and attend to my customers. <laughs> Baby, I am truly sorry. I am sorry, Adi. Honey, no, please don't cry. Listen, I am sorry. I, I promise you this will never repeat itself. I promise you. I am not crying because of what your brother said to me. So, what else would make you shed tears like this? My uncle that stays in this town just left here a few minutes ago. He said to me that my father is dead. What? I'm dead? How? I'm, what killed him? I don't know. He said his stomach was just and the next thing he died and the Igwe of my town ordered you to throw his corpse in the evil forest oh Jesus baby I am so sorry I, I am sorry I, I don't even know what to tell you I, I don't know what to say to you I am sorry so what are you going to do now I'm sure that they want me to come and take his place in this shrine as his first son. As I talk to you right now, I am the most confused man on earth. Maybe, listen, you don't need to be confused, okay? I think we need to be spiritual about this right now. This matter has gone beyond physical matters. We, we have to go spiritual, yes. Spiritual? I don't know anything about spirituality. All my life I have always avoided spiritual things. My father is an evil man. He is. 
and that is why I came to this town because I, I don't want to associate with him. Listen to me, baby. Listen, look at me. Look at me. I know of a spiritual man of God, a prophet who has performed miracles. You need God's intervention in your case right now. That's all that you need. You hear me? And I, I need you to know that everything will be fine. You just, you just need to put yourself together. Everything will be fine. I promise you. <laughs> Sister Kamsu, who is this young man? He's my friend, his name is. I see magnet of bad luck. Hovering around you. Rekatamaya jende bregrebozu mahim bragra chende bregrebozu maya. In the name of Jesus. Rakatamaya janda bragra bozu maya. Thank you, Jesus. Who is Akutapo? That's my father. Tebe ye jende bragra bozu maha bashanda bragra bozu maya. Rekatamaya karika book to machine bragra. That man is an evil man. Man is an evil man. Yes, I, I know. And 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 he has. An evil shrine. You're right, you're right, Pastor. He even wants me to to to, to join him in his evil ways, but I refuse. That's why I, I came to the city. Ratamaya Jendi Bregrebozuma Himbragrashanda Bragrabozmaya. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The atrocity that man has committed is part of what is holding your destiny. Rekatamaya Janda Bragrabozmaya. Who is Nena Yokafa? She's from Uga. Pastor, look, my, my mother's name is Nena Yokafa. And she's from Uga too. Thank you, Jesus. Takamso, this young man here needs to be forgiven by your mother. You have to take him to your mother so that his testimony will be complete. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you demonic agent! What are you doing here? There is no way here. He must not be set free. You lie. You lie! For the mention of the name Jesus, Every knee shall bow. <laughs> Out of this place in the name of Jesus. Out of this place in the name of Jesus. You demon of darkness. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name that's above your brother's name. Out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> To stand against the name of Jesus. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire. 
Holy God, fire! I destroy you. Who are you to stand against the name of Jesus? I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Holy God, fire! Holy God, fire! I destroy you. Out in the name of Jesus. Brother, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. You see? Brother, are you afraid? Honey, please. No, 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 we, we can't go. The way I'm seeing this matter now is a spiritual matter. He can handle it. I know it's a spiritual warfare. Anyway, you can direct me. Yes. Pastor, see, we're already close to my village. If you just go straight, that turn by your left, Eh? Just ask anybody, anybody at all of Apodakut uh, compound. They, they will take you there. And the shrine is just behind the house. If I don't think this is right, yes, okay. Uh, I have to let please. Okay. Um, sister, are you going with me? It's okay. As you go back, the Spirit of God will lead you. This is a spiritual warfare. And I will fight this fight of faith. Please go. Be still in the name of Jesus, you demonic agent. Why have you come to disturb my rest in my very abode? <laughs> I am here for you. I am here in the name of Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it. I am here to set free those you held captive. Today is the liberation day. And there is nothing you can do about it. Because I know who I am. I know who I am in Christ Jesus. I know who my father is. I am here in the name of Jesus. A name that is above a brother's name. Destroy the name of Jesus. I destroy the name of Jesus. Come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You cannot stand in my way. Is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Holy God, fire! Out in the name of Jesus. Bread. Stop there. Pastor, look, good days. What are you doing here? If I or whatever you are called, haven't I warned you never to step this your filthy legs into this compound? Huh? Um, come see. Please calm down. I'm here because of them. Pastor, you don't know this guy. This he, he is a criminal. Criminal. A common street uh, tout that uses bread selling to cover up his SSC is only a boy's boy. Come see, it's not as bad as you think. I, I, I'm here because of them. I, I, I promise you everything is going to be all right. Do you understand? Um, please, can we sit somewhere? Pastor, it's because of you. If not, I wouldn't have allowed this criminal into this compound. It's okay. Let's just sit somewhere. I, I, I promise you everything will be all right. Hmm? Um, my brother, I'm very sorry. You see, what is happening to Ifani here is not ordinary. It's an inherited cause from his late father. Um, though I have gone to his village to destroy his late father's shrine. But I got a revelation that if I here, I need to be forgiven by your mother on behalf of his late father. 
So, my brother, I'm begging you to take them to your mother so that if fine can be forgiven. Please, that's why I've come to beg you. So we can go and see mom together for her to forgive you fine. Because na biko. Oh. Come see I. I am sorry for everything. If I have offended you anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. But you just have to do this for me. For the sake of God. Just see me as a brother, please. I beg you. Well, Pastor Luke, I've heard you. If God says yes, who am I a mere mortal to go against it? Hmm. I will accompany them to the village to see Mama. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you are going with us. Um, no. Three of you will go. I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. Holy Spirit will guide you and make all things fall into peace. Mm. Well, before then, this uh, In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Mama. I still cannot believe that both of you could come home without calling me on phone. I hope all is well. All is well. Thank God. And um, who is this young man that came with you? Um, actually, Mama, he is our friend. He is the reason we are here. He said he has something to tell you. To tell me? Yes, Mama. Ah. Mom, welcome, bro. Oh. I'm fine, Mama. Welcome, my dear. What is your name? My name is Ifine. I am the only surviving son to late Apotaku. Which up with Abu? The one I know? Yes, yes. Hey! No, 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 no! What are you doing here now? Have you come to end what your father couldn't do? Eh? Get out! Get out of my house! Mama, get out! Close this, my eyes and open them, and this boy is still here again. I'll call him to hot water! Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama, be cool. Be cool. Calm down. Be cool. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Calm down, calm down. Can you at least listen to him first? L listen to him. No, let him just go. Let him. Pastor Luke sent us. He said that you need to forgive him on behalf of his father, that he had a, a revelation about it. Hmm. Mama, I am sorry. Whatever my, my, my father has done to you, please, please forgive me. My father was a bad man. He's an evil man. That's why I, I had to disassociate myself from him and came to the city to hustle like a man. But everything I put my hand will not work. How can it work? Because I work. In fact, people hate me for no reason. It was so rough and tough for me on, until I, I met your daughter here, Chikam. So she, she helped me. She has been supportive and she encouraged me. She introduced me to Pastor Luke, who prayed for me and then went, went to my father's shrine to, to destroy it. But then again, he said to me that I, I need to come and see you so that you can forgive me. That's the only way I, I can be a man again and my testimony can be complete. Mama, please, I beg you in the name of God, Mama, please forgive me and forgive my father, please. None of you has an idea of what I passed through in the hands of your father. You have listened to him. You've heard his story. If there's a place in your heart that can still forgive, find it. Forgive him. And remember, forgiveness it's divine. Hi. Biko name. Biko. Yeah. Biko. 
<sighs> it all started when I got married to my first husband, Dodo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like the food? You see why they always say that you champ me. This is your charm. <laughs> it is the charm. There's no better cook than you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get you water. Hmm? Miss water, water, My chest. Your chest. My chest. Okay. My, my heart is burning. Burning. <coughs> Take some more. Take some more. Take some. My more. chest. Take some. More. Are you okay now? Drink more. Drink more. Drink more. It's okay. <coughs> Are you okay? My chest. Your chest. My chest. Are you? Take some more water. Take some more water. Daddy, what is it? Mom, what's wrong with that? Hold on, hold on. Are you okay now? <coughs> I'm, I'm, Daddy, honey. what is it? My, my heart is burning. Burning. <coughs> drink water, drink water, drink water. Drink Daddy, what's wrong with you? Mom, what's wrong with that? <coughs> um, I don't know. <coughs> okay, um, honey. Daddy, what is it? You, you know what? Let me go to okay, this pharmacy. I'm coming back home. Oh, I'm coming back home. <coughs> <coughs> Just, Daddy, I'm, I'm okay. My chest, my I'm okay. My. Say my brother Udogu just died just like that. Oh, are you saying that he he just died, just like that? I, I... Hmm. Please. How she killed my brother, Odogu? Nani Godi, what are you talking about? 
He was not sick. Neither did he complain of anything. But suddenly, he died in a broad daylight. Why? Why are you accusing me of killing my own husband? Why are you doing this to me now? Shut up, woman! It is said he died immediately. He ate the food you gave to him. Which means you poisoned the food. I did not poison my husband. How? How can I ever poison the man that I've ever loved? I did not poison him! Woman, we have custom and tradition. If you claim you are innocent of this accusation, then you have to swear to Ikrube. Also, you will have to drink the water used in betting your husband's cups. And that will happen in a few days' time. Bagam, before your husband will be buried. Just stepped out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I hope all is well with you. Nani, you and I know that all is not well. Anyway, I come in peace. Mm. I am capable of putting an end to your impending problems. Problems. I can even yes. I can even stop you from taking the oath. Cups of your little fat. Hey! Only on one condition. And also stop you from drinking the waste water from the cups of my brother, your late husband. Only on one condition. Hey! Nani. Nani. I promise you. I beg you. I will do anything. Anything just to clear my name, Nani. I am innocent. I am innocent. Did you say you are ready to do anything? Anything, Nani, anything. Then your problems are over. Hey, Nani, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. All I ask from you is that you come to my bedroom tonight. Eh? Let's be together and have fun. After all, 
you are my late brother's wife. And by tradition, eh, I am entitled to inherit you. So just comply. Comply. <laughs> and everything will be over for problem anymore. <coughs> Nani, what you're asking of me is, is very difficult. Nani, you and I know that my husband is still lying at the mortuary. Nani, I, I can't do that. No. Why is it difficult? Eh? What is difficult there? Eh? Anyway, when are we going to do it? Is it after the barrier? That you are ready to do anything. Nani, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Or after the barrier. I will not. But you just said that you are ready to do anything. Nani, I will not do it. Before or after the barrier. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Now that you have made up your mind on this issue, be ready for war. Be ready for war because I am going to make your life miserable in this family. That's the promise. Stupid thing. You're not even happy that I'm trying to help you. Get ready. We shall see. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Why? 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 Uh, why are people so wicked in this world? of late Odogu, you have been accused of killing your husband with poison. Today, you shall prove your innocence by swearing to Igrube and also drinking the water that is used to bat the corpse of your husband. Now, take this. Take it. Lick it and say after me. Lick now. I swear to Ikrube. I swear to Ikrube. That if I had a hand in my husband's death. That if I had a hand in my husband's death. Let Ikrube kill me without mercy. Let Ikrube strike me without mercy. Now, take and drink of it. Take and prove your innocence. Drink it now. Drink! Drink! <laughs> Prove your innocence to them. <laughs> I 
after seven market days if she survives it then she's innocent i'm only the mouthpiece of the gods I curse you to die. You must die. Yes. The death of my husband is still a mystery to me till date. As if that was not enough. I went to the farm with my daughter. Uloma, one day. Uloma! Uloma! Yes, mommy, I'm coming! We are late, close that door. Let's go. But you didn't lot of things to do here. We have to weed all this place. Eh? You have to help me. You have to help your mommy. Oh? But won't you give me any cutlass? Don't worry. Use your hand. When I'm done, I'll come and check it. Oh? Okay. No, ma'am. My sweet daughter. <laughs> Her to the hospital for treatment. Hmm? Uh, yes. I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking of taking her to the hospital. Uh, well, I'm sorry, it's, okay. it's okay. For a favor, please don't be angry. Um, Nani, I need some money because I, I need to take my daughter to the hospital, and you know, I don't know anybody in this village. You are the only person that can help me with money because, uncle, because, Nani, because, you know, sir. So, I am now important to you. Eh? You are not asking me for money. 
when I ask you to give me, eh, did you give? Did you? I don't have any money. Nani, Nani, Biko, Biko. Nani, Biko, Biko. She's your niece. She's going to die, Biko, Biko, Biko. Nani, Biko, no, Biko, Biko. Hold it, wait, it, wait, wait, wait. I know she is my niece. Eh? But how else do you want me to tell, to explain it to you? How else do you want me to explain it to you that I don't have any money? Look, let me tell you. This will be your very first and last time that you'll be asking for any financial assistance from me. Before Agbala will strike you dead. Hey, Nani Biko. Nani Biko. Nani Biko. Nani Biko. Hey. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is dead. No, that's what I saw. I don't know what's on your government. Your way on your government. Get come. My daughter, Ofanyam, Ofanyam is dead. Stop this, your crocodile tears. You wish. I said, stop this, your crocodile tears. Oh, you have succeeded in killing every member of my brother's family. Hey. No. No. Hey. No, I did not kill anybody. Who will be your next victim? Nani, I did not kill anybody. Who knows who will be the next victim? Eh? Nani. Who will be your next Nani. sacrifice? Nani. I, did, I cannot say anything before my neighbors think it is true. I huh? did not kill anybody before. Oh, you think I will hide it from anybody? I will tell everybody in this neighborhood that you are a witch. You are wicked. For information, listen And listen very, very well. I won't repeat myself. Pack your things and go to your father's house. I don't want to repeat myself. You have heard me. Say, pack. Pack! Okay, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. 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 Go, go.
Nani, why you Please, what you doing this to me? You please, killed my brother. Please, please, I'm begging you, please. You, that was not enough. Because you also because. killed his because. daughter. Because. And now you want to leave. Please. No way. No way. No, Suffer please. not the wish no. to leave. No. There is no peace for the wicked. Yes, sir. Please, please. please. No peace for the wicked. Please. You must go back with your father. Please. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You oh, yeah. must leave this house today. Oh, yeah. You must leave this house. Let's go. 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 My in-laws, what is the problem? My Zudoha, there is a problem. A thought they say does not run in the daytime for nothing. It is either it is pursuing something or something is pursuing it. And a stone that one sees coming does not blind one. My in-laws, you are talking in parables. Let us go inside and discuss whatever problem it is. My Zudoha, we are not going to sit down. Our people used to say that. When you go inside the bush, I see more than two dead boys or sparrow. You will know that what killed that sparrow is living inside that bush. Yes. We have come to wipe our hands and our legs from what makes us an in-law. Uh, my in-laws, why have you taken such a decision? If my daughter has offended you in any way, I suggest you caution her instead of bringing her back to me. Mazio let me tell you in plain language. Your daughter is a witch. Oh. Wow. I will not continue to stay with her. Before she kills all of us. Bam. Mazi Udoha, listen, we have brought her back to you. Keep her home. We don't want to see her anywhere near that house again. Otherwise, otherwise, otherwise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If I see you near that house. It is all right, my daughter. Stop crying. <laughs> crying and weeping will not solve any problem for you. Okay? So stop crying. Papa. That is not the end of life. Eh? Papa. Hmm? Papa, I am innocent. Papa, I am innocent of the accusations. Papa, a God is doing all this just to inherit my husband's properties. That's why he's doing all this. Hey! Papa. It is okay. It is alright. It is alright. My daughter, I know you are not a witch. I believe in you. That is why you should keep living your life. Hmm? It is alright. It's okay. It's okay. Papa. It's okay. Papa. Papa. Yes. Egodi has really dealt with me. Papa. He has dealt with me. And he promised that he will make my life miserable. But no, 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 he has succeeded. No, 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 hey! no, my daughter. Hey! It, is all, it is all right, don't cry. It is all right, don't cry, don't cry. He kept to his promises. And I accepted my fate. I started living my life again, believing my problems were solved, waiting upon the Lord. Until one day, the worst happened. How are you? 
He's Mazu Doha's daughter. She just came back from her husband's village. Mazu Doha? Mazu Doha? I mean, is she married? Yeah, she was married, but now she's divorced. She's divorced? Yeah, and he lives with his father. Hey. With his father? Ah! Thank you, I'm not hungry. Take, no, no, take. Beautiful and charming. Imaka! Hi! Well, I am a Otapo, one of Oga community. I'm a well respected man in this village. Nani Apotapo, I have heard you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the compliments. But what can I do for you? Um, I have asked of you. I was told you are Mazu Doha's daughter. And I know you are from a good family. That's why I'm here. To plead you to be my fourth wife. Um, Nani, please. I am not interested. And I wouldn't want to marry now, considering my, my, my first marriage history. Please. I'm sorry. That's exactly why you should consider my request. Eh? So that you forget every problem you are facing from your husband, your daughter or husband's house. I promise I will make you happy. Um. I will make you a happy woman. Nani. I am sorry to disappoint you, but marriage is not on my mind right now. I hope this won't be disrespectful. I have to be on my way now. Thank you. Thank Hi. you very much. The Kwari Manyao, someone that I know is a second-hand wife. Refusing me that is chassis. Okay, I know my next step. I know what I do. When you have decided to visit my home today, I hope all is well. Oh. <laughs> Did you miss your way? No. If I didn't, ma, I didn't miss my way. As a matter of fact, I have come to see your daughter, Nenaya. Nena? Yes. Well, well, she's not at home now. She has gone out. But she will soon be back. But please, I hope my daughter has not committed any offense. No, she didn't commit any offense. As a matter of fact, there's something I discovered with her some days back. My daughter? Yes, your daughter, Nenna. Mazudo. <coughs> I have intention to marry your daughter. Have you told her before? Like I said before. I will be to get her to get her to that is why I bring this goat for her sake, taking off my love to her. Take the goat. I will believe him now. No 
Okay. Make sure you give her the food and tell her that I come to keep her. Okay. I will do as you have said. Okay, sir. Now you go. Goats by the side of the house. Hmm. Wonders you never see. Apotaku came here with that goat, telling me that he has intentions of marrying you. That the goat is for you. He said you have both discussed. So I decided to wait for you to come back to know to what extent you have both discussed. Papa. He saw me the other day returning from the farm. And he called me and told me that he wanted me to be his wife, his fourth wife. Papa, right there and then I told him I am not interested, that I don't want to be his wife. I don't understand this whole thing, Papa. Is that all? That is all. <sighs> I was worried because that man, Apu Tapu, is not a good person. He has no good name in this village. He is a witch doctor. He goes about the whole village performing all sorts of evil acts. So I, I became surprised where the way he sounded that you have both discussed and agreed. Papa, Papa, over my dead body will I marry such a man. Moreover, Papa, marriage is the last thing on my mind. So, he came to bribe you with a goat. Hey! Mm. There is nothing you will not see in this world. Well, hey! After, I will return the goat to him. Better return it, oh. Return it. I'm not going to even touch it. Why you go, Apu Tapu, it's you. Masigo. It's me. I'm going to jack up my own women. My unchangeable in law. <laughs> it's my wife at home. Apu Tapu, what are you doing here? The last time I, 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 we saw, I never invited you to my, to my father's compound. What are you doing here? My sweetheart, <laughs> I've come to check if you receive the gift. I brought the last time I came here. Nani Akutaku, please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to marry. And even if I change my mind, I, I will not marry someone like you as a fourth wife. No! Stop coming to my father's compound or in the name of marriage. I don't want. It can never work. Never. Never. Masu Doha, we are keeping quiet. And your daughter is here running her mouth. And insulting me, Akuta one. Just because I declare my intention to her. Papa. Akuta calm down. Oh, Papa, chalo, chalo, chalo. Calm down. I don't want you. I don't want to get married to you. Never. I will not. Stop coming here. And another thing, once you're leaving, please take that goat. We don't need it. I will never marry you. Never. Masu Doha. All you could do is just stand here and watch. Well, I will take my goat and leave. Better. But trust me, we shall see. We have seen everything. We shall see. I got Wale. I got Wale. I got Wale. Please don't forget your goat. Don't forget your goat. Can you imagine? Nenanya. Nenanya. You should not have spoken to him like that. You should have shown some respect. That man is evil. Papa, 
Papa, eh? since he doesn't want to understand, I've tried to speak to him in a very polite way, but he refused to understand. The harsh way is better for him. Papa, go inside and rest. Leave him for me. Can you just imagine? He wants to marry me. Oh. Nena, yeah. Papa? Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Nena, yeah. Papa? Please, I will want you to go to Akutaku and apologize to him. Eh? I want you to let him mm. understand why you have made up, made up your mind. Papa? Yes. How could you say a thing like that? How could you suggest I go back to that man? No, Papa. No. My daughter, I know that man very well. That man is evil and capable of doing a lot of evil things. Everyone in this village avoids him because of what he's capable of doing. Please, my daughter. Papa, I told that man when we saw that I am not interested in his requests. But he refused to, to, to answer me. Now he had the right to come to my own father's house. He got what he deserved. Nay. Nay. A stitch in time saves nine. Please. Yana who barred him? We are one of his and Obama. We are not who barred him. We are one of his and Obama. We are not who barred him. Oh! I have never been humiliated like this or insulted before. Mm. A male woman that squats to Renet insults me. I, Apotapu Dike. No. She will never go free. I will tell her the reason why they call me Apotapu. <laughs> Come home, Auntie. Ofunanya. The child that says his mother will not sleep, we equally not sleep. Nenaya, you have touched the tiger's tail, and you must feel the rot of the tigers. As I break this chalk, you shall neither walk or lift your hands or talk. I shall remain like this until you die. Yes. <laughs> Go on, Hanante. Ofunanya. Go on, Hanante. Ofunanya. <laughs> Papa. Before you get out of hand. What happened to your daughter is a spiritual issue. And it needs a spiritual attention. And you have to act fast. As we are talking now, I don't even know any strong spiritual person that I can go to. I am so confused. So confused. 
Tunani, I will suggest you go and see Agunisi. He's a strong native doctor. And I believe he should have the solution to your daughter's problem. Yes, nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will do just that. Be strong, Nai. Nai, be strong. Be strong. Your daughter's case is a very serious one. A strong witch doctor is responsible for her predicament. Agwisi, please, what can we do to bring my daughter's situation back to normal? What she is suffering from can only be cured by the witch doctor that infected her with it. Please. Who is the native doctor that afflicted my daughter with this? You know him. You must run as fast as possible to him. His name is Akotako, the great witch doctor of your community. If you don't act fast, your daughter will remain like this, and after which she dies. I will do as you have said. Hey! Apple, apple. Hey! Please, I have come to beg you on behalf of my daughter. Eh? Please, have mercy. She has been paralyzed for weeks now. Have mercy on her. She has agreed to marry you. Please, let make her well again, please. Why you do her? If the ear refuses to hear when the head is when the head is cut off, the ear will definitely follow it. Your daughter thinks that she can talk to me anyhow because I have little interest in her. Now listen. No one will ever make her well again. Please, have mercy. She's my only daughter, please. Have mercy. I promise you, she will marry you without you paying the dowry. Eh? You will marry her free of charge. All I want is for her to be well again. Please, have mercy. Please. No one will ever marry her. That's her punishment for humiliating I, Apotapo, one of the community. Have mercy on Leave. her. Or I strike you with madness. Oh, please. Leave! I'm, I'm leaving. Please. 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 Have been with me. Please. Nonsense. What's the door? Good afternoon. What's the door? I'm greeting you. Chai. I pity this family. I know. Akutapo, he has must be in this. Uncle. 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 Uncle Doha. Uncle, Uncle Dave, Uncle, 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 what is it? What is the problem? What is wrong with Nenaya? My sister, I'm not fine. No. Nenaya has been sick for quite some time now. So, so what 
happened? What's wrong with her? It's a long story. After the death of her husband and her daughter, her late husband's people branded her a witch and returned her to me. Hmm? Suddenly, Akbu Takbu, the infamous uh, witch, uh, witch doctor, came around declaring interest in marrying her as his fourth wife. Inanaya refused to marry him. And as a result of that, Akbu Takbu afflicted my daughter with this disease. What kind of rubbish is that? It's marriage by force. I have gone to all the native doctors in this village and even villages around us. No, no native doctor has been able to cure her. No cure from anywhere. Jesus, this is serious. The last native doctor that came here advised me to go and see Apu Takbo and beg him. I heeded his advice. I went to Apu Takbo. I pleaded with Apu Takbo. I begged him. He refused bluntly. He said he swore that Nenaya would remain like this until she dies, simply because she refused to marry him. As long as there is God in heaven, Nenaya will be fine. As long as there is a God that we serve, the living God, nothing will happen to Nenaya. Uncle, don't worry. Nothing will happen to her. She will be fine. You are telling me not to be worried. With my daughter like this for, for almost a month now, why will I not be worried? Eh? Uncle, I will take Nenaya to the city tomorrow. Yes. I need her to go and see my pastor. Because this is not physical, this is spiritual battle. This her illness is not something that, that any how power can take care of. The only person that can take care of this is the almighty God. And he's the only one that has the power to save her from this. So don't worry, tomorrow I'll take her to the city to go and meet my pastor. Everything will be fine, okay? <sighs> Uncle, Uncle, I've told you. I've pleaded with you. Please, are you stop? Please give your life to God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Udeme, my friend, what is really happening to Chief Good? I really do not know. From the look of things, it seems that the gods are angry with him. <sighs> For me, I suggest we should go and beg Nina Yao. I said this, that woman is innocent. Even he refused to bring an elders on the swearing of the oath. Even the way was not was not aware of it. We must go and beg her. Yes, you have to. Hmm? There's one no. before he, before he goes and with us. That that man is evil. Let's go and beg her. I had almost lost hope, believing that God had forsaken me. But the same God rescued me through the help of Auntie Mary and. A pastor.
What's wrong with her? Who is she to you? Mother Joy, she's my cousin. Eh? I brought her so that the pastor will pray for her. By the way, where is the pastor? Uh, the pastor is in the office. Maybe you should check him up. Problem. This one you're looking like is. Pastor, all is not well. What happened? Pastor, I went to the village yesterday to meet my uncle, Udoa, only to meet my cousin sister very ill. As I speak to you right now, she is paralyzed. And when I asked my uncle what happened, he told me that it was the witch doctor in the village that put her in that condition, simply because she refused his surgical advances. Yeah. Sister Mary, the devil is a liar. There's one thing I know for sure, that our God is a miracle God, and he will do wonder. So, so, so where is she? Pastor, yes, that's why I brought her, because I know God is the only one that can cure her from this. Yes. Sister Mary, I tell you one thing, your faith alone has set your cousin free. Come, let's go and see you. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. S Sister Mary, what was her name? Nenaya. Nenaya. Nenaya, listen. Yeah, Nenaya, listen to the voice of the Most High God. The power of the Lord will come upon you. And right now you will receive extraordinary torture. And I pray that any power of the enemy against your life this moment will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Right then, I want to hear your voice praying because the Bible said that in the read of one of the secret books of the most high God, Sabbath of the Son of the Almighty, and also said the book of first John chapter 4, verse 4, that he that is us, we are to the world. Right now, begin to open your mouth and pray that every altar, he come by every voice in the land. Every altar, the son of the Lord. Every voice that is speaking, the son of the Lord. Let us be called in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, Sister Nenda, listen to the voice of the most high God. Everywhere that call upon your name, let there be a total deliverance in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah, we are more second than ever. My hand never more in the back. Yeah, the case in the name of the Lord. In case ever more in the back. Let there be a total healing, a total deliverance in your body in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Right now, make a double. You see that every hour. There's a Christ in Jesus' name. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Make your prayer alone. Render every power, every altar. That is under the law. Let the altar be destroyed. Because if I have nothing to the sun, I will not have to. is clear. We have succeeded in pursuing her to her father's house. Eh? I can now sell all this land, make good money, move to my late brother's house, and marry a new wife. Life is good. <laughs> That's my thought. <laughs> uh, I said no. No, no. Is it by force? Eh? The Queen of England wants me to marry her. And I said, no. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. No, I refuse. I reject it. I don't want to be the president of the Is it by force? Is it by force? Leave me alone. Let me. Let me. Let me. I said no, no. Is it by force? I said I don't want to marry the Queen of England. Is it by force? No. Leave me alone. Leave me. I said leave me alone. Let me. Let me. 
even the president of this country. I said I don't want to be. I don't want to be. The position is too small. Can't you understand? 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 Can't Honestly, I am still overwhelmed by the miracle. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Sister Mary, I return all the glory to God, for He has done it. And may His name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, our God is a miracle God. There is nothing too hard for Him to do. So that is it. Pastor, yes, dear. I want to personally thank you. May God bless and reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. But like I said, it is not by my mind, nor by my power. It is just by the grace of God that we are not consumed. And it's by the grace of God that you are saved. So, Sister Ninaya, the best thing you have to do now is to accept the Lord as a personal Lord and Savior. And I tell you, once you take that step, your life will never remain the same. Come on, come on, give me your hands. Let me, let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for a day like this. Thank you, Lord, for making this here permanent. We say we will be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Good day, Sister Mary. Good day. Yeah. Please, I would like to speak to your sister, Nenaya. Okay. Hope there's no problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Right, I'll get my way. Thank you. Sister Nenaya. Yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. Amen. So, how is your health now? Oh, brother, I am very strong. Look, I can raise my hand, raise my leg. I can even jump. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, you're bouncing the Lord. Yes, I'm bouncing. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to God. Thank God. Yes. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Uh, actually, my name is uh, Brother John, first of all. Okay. And uh, I'm one of the members in this church. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually one of the brethren that brought you in when you were unconscious. Oh, God will bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You don't have to mention. Hold on. Thank you. Uh, there's this very important uh, matter I want to discuss with you. Okay. Uh, yeah. When you were brought in initially, there's this strong feeling that struck me. Okay. Very strong. Okay. You know, initially I thought it was an uh, infatuation. Okay. But uh, after I received the message for the third time, so it dawned on me that uh, it's reality. Okay. Well, what is this message? Thank you. Uh, let me go straight to the point now. I just hit the phone. Sister Nenaya, I would like you to be my life partner. Um, Brother John, yes. you know I just recovered. Um, I'll need some time to think about it, please. Oh, that, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, can I go? Yeah. The Lord bless you. God wiped my tears away when John came. God used 
John to give me an unending joy. Bless you, Sister Mary. What were you discussing with Brother John? Hmm. Sister. He asked me, he said he likes me. And he asked me to marry him. Hmm. Oh, well, Brother John is a nice person. And he's a devoted member of our church. He's a very good person. I, but I, I don't know him very well. Don't worry. I know him very well. Hmm? He's a nice person. And he's also doing well. Okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Ah, I'm so happy. Papa, hmm? you found a lot. You need to rest. Eh, Papa? My daughter, how can I leave farming? It has become part of me. Do you know I have been able to survive and feed you while you were sick? Hmm. So it's the farm is part of me. Hmm. <laughs> it's the farm. Papa, yeah. I just want to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Too. Thank you for standing by me. Thank God. Papa, thank you. Thank God. Papa, I love you. And me too. Thank you. Ah, uh, my young man. Sir. Uh, what's that his name? John. John. Ah, okay. Uh, John. Yes, sir. Uh, as tradition demands, eh? Ah, uh, Kai alone cannot kill an elephant and eat it alone. Yes, Papa. Mm? Uh -huh. So you will go and inform your kinsmen. I will also inform my kinsmen. Both sides will meet and discuss it. Both sides meet. We'll talk the rest. Yes, it's okay. Should that be this case, sir? Um, I will pick a date that I will invite my kinsmen. Then I will lay the date to and for that time, I will inform her. Very good, very good, very good. That, that, that's very good. So w the moment she gives me the date, I will now inform my kinsmen that you are coming so so date, we will be here waiting for you. This was how I married your father. I'm truly sorry for everything you went through in the hands of Ifine's father. But Ifine needs to be freed. With your forgiveness, free him, Mama. Free him from this magnet of poverty that has been hovering over him all his life. This mama, for, for our sake, for, for the sake of God, for, for the sake of anything or everything you respect. Free him. Biko. Mommy, Biko. Mommy. Biko. Biko. <laughs>